draw straight vertical line it will cut the generators one point over here and another point over here so these are the points of intersection similarly from this point draw straight vertical line it will cut the generator one point over here and another point over here this is an imaginary generator to find out the position of this point so for that draw vertical vertical line from this generator to the meter line from that draw horizontal line and draw that generator and from this point draw straight vertical line it will cut the circle this generator at this point so these are the points similarly here is the point for this one if we locate position of this point from this point draw straight vertical line this point is also on the same generator so here is the point now about this point draw vertical line from here it will cut this generator at this, at this point and this generator at this point somewhere here this is the point so it will cut the generator he at here and another at the bottom side one is here another is here right now join all these points with the smooth curve like this and all these points with the smooth curve like this like this so this curve would be fully visible because if you look from the top this corner is this edge is visible so this point is visible hence this curve is visible now what's about these points these points are to the bottom side on this side so all this curves all these points will not be visible hence they should be joined with the dotted line like this so this is the curve of intersection dotted line in the top view now what's about on this side on this side also the mirror image would be there that we can draw by drawing this just same similar image like this and this so this is the mirror image of these points with the same method we can find out location of these points and join them with a smooth curve insert the dimension it's a diameter 60 mm it's a side view this is front view and this is top view of the problem so this is the solution of given problem i hope the solution is clear to you now we continue for the next problem problem number 2 the data is given like this a cone of diameter 50 mm and height 65 mm is resting on its base it is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder of diameter 40 mm and length 70 mm the axis of the cylinder is parallel to vp 25 mm above the base of the cone and 8 mm in front of the axis of the cone draw the projections showing cause of intersection now thinking steps for thinking think about the solution of this problem so first cone is given diameter 50 mm height 65 base is on ground so we can draw its top view and front view horizontal cylinder is given diameter 40 height 70 or length 70 mm axis of the cylinder 25 mm above the base or that is xy line so we have to draw cylinder circle above xy line at a distance of 25 mm and 8 mm in front of the cone axis take projections from side view to other views like this first draw xy line draw top view of the cone that is circle of diameter 60 mm draw meter line transfer the points from top view to the meter line draw axis of the cone height of the cone is given to us that is 65 mm at height of 65 mm mark a point on the axis draw a triangle having height is equal to 65 mm width is equal to 60 mm that is diameter of the cone the front view of the cone after drawing this front view name the now here the axis of the cylinder is above this base at a distance of 25 mm so mark here the center of this cylinder or axis of the cylinder somewhere here but here it is also given that the axis of cylinder is 8 mm away from the axis of the cone so this is the axis of the cone at a distance of to the right side at certain distance that is 10 mm mark draw another center line this distance is given to us that is 10 mm mark an axis of this 
cylinder over here so this is the center of the circle of the cylinder now taking this point as a center draw a circle like this so this circle represents the side view of the cylinder right <coughs> after this draw its front view of the cylinder that is rectangle and the top view of the cylinder also these lines would be dotted line because it would not be it would be hidden to this cone so not visible transfer the points from side view to the top view to the meter lines and draw its top view as well this is the top view of this cylinder lines would be visible this is the axis of the cone now we discuss the steps how to find out the points of intersection this is one case draw any imaginary generator over here that will cut the circles at two points one point is here another point is here draw top view of this generator so for that from here draw vertical line it will cut meter line at here horizontal line it will cut the circle at this point join this point with this center of the circle this is the generator now draw front view of this generator as well so for that from here draw vertical line it will cut the base at this point join this point with the apex point so this is the generator what i have done first this generator three views of this imaginary generators only that's it after that find out the points of intersection so for that what should we do pick up this point that is the point of intersection between this generator and this circle here is the point so from that point draw straight vertical line that line will cut meter line somewhere here from that meter line draw horizontal line and that horizontal line will cut this generator at this point right so we have located this point in the top view to locate the same point in the front view draw vertical line from here it will cut the horizontal line from this point at this here so these are the three views of this point with the similar analogy we can find out rest all points by drawing imaginary generators over here and picking pick up the points respectively now draw this problem now we have to draw this problem on this drawing sheet half problem is drawn here rest all steps we will draw over here till now we have drawn now to find out other points of intersection let we draw imaginary generators over here this is one generator right this generator will cut this circle at two points one is here another is here now draw here meter line the meter line would be somewhere here from this point to this point and here is the xy line trans draw three views of this generator so for that from here draw a straight vertical line transfer the, to the meter line somewhere here and from that transfer that point to the top view it would be here and that would cut the circle at two points one point is here another point is here so from those two points draw generators like this this is the generator and this is the another generator right what i have done this generator is drawn in top view like this similarly draw front view of this generator so for that from here draw straight vertical line like this from here draw straight vertical line it will cut the base somewhere here and here join this point with the apex point this one and this one so this is the apex point generators now how to find out the points of intersection so for that let me pick up this point here is the point from this point draw a horizontal line like this and this horizontal line will cut these two generators one at here another at here so here is the point of intersection similarly for this point from this point draw straight horizontal line or transfer that point to this side view to this side view front view and here think about this point this point is on this generator so what's the 
the front view of this generator so for that let me draw transfer this point to this side view from side view to top view from here to here and from here to here so that generator is this one this middle one is that generator right so from this point draw straight horizontal line that will cut that image that generator over here so one two and three three points that we have located similarly one point is here what what do you say about this point this point is somewhere here so for that let me draw me generate the generator from that point transfer that point from here to here to top view draw generator and draw horizontal line from point here so the point would be somewhere here now join all these points with a smooth curve so that smooth curve would appear like this so this is the shape which is visible in the front view for the intersection similarly in top view also here one point would be there it would be very small so here this would be its front view now what's about these edges this horizontal line and these slant edges if we think about this inner portion here the cone edge is there so to find out the position of those points let me draw imaginary generator generators on this side say from here this generator transfer that generator to its meter line to its top view like this and that will cut this circle at two points one is here draw the top view of that generator another is here draw both the generators by drawing vertical line from here slant edge from here vertical line from here and slant edge from here one point is here another point is here right so from these two points draw horizontal lines say from here horizontal line to this point that would cut the circle somewhere here and another one point would be somewhere here similarly for this point two points would be there one point is here another point is here what's about this point the apex point so for that for that end point from that draw a line imaginary generator line from here from this point draw horizontal line now draw front view of this generator so for that what should we do transfer that point to the top view first after transferring to the top view we can transfer to the respective front view from here from this point draw horizontal vertical lines from here vertical line from here so this is that generator draw both the generators over here so here the points of intersection would be there this is the point here one point here another point join all these points with a smooth curve so that smooth curve would appear like this a very smooth curve would be there and a small curve would be there this one and of course it is inside so it would appear it would not appear hence it should be represented by the dotted line like this it should not be full line because it is inside so it would be dotted line similarly this is also dotted line now think about the top view of this so for that <coughs> transfer respective points from front view side view and top view so for that from here draw straight vertical line like this it will cut the generator over here vertical line from here will cut the generator over here similarly transfer the points from this view from here it will cut the generator over here from here it will cut the generator over here and for this end point from here transfer the point from here to here and from here to this side so this would be the end point so all these points would be to the back side hence it will not be visible so those points are joined with the dotted line but this upper point would be visible hence they are to be joined with the smooth curve or full line like this and this is not visible so these points are to be joined with the dotted line like this 
Is it clear? <coughs> so the solution of this problem is drawn over here. This is the solution, and diameter of this is given to us. This diameter is 40 millimeter. So insert the dimension like this: 5, 40. And this height is given to us. That is 65 millimeter. So we should insert the dimension like this. Height is equal to 65 millimeter. Similarly, this diameter of the cone that is 50 millimeter. So insert the dimension like this: 5, 50. Insert appropriate arrows. So this is solution of example number two. This is. the front view you can write the name of you this is front view this is top view and this is side view and these all projection lines should be either erased or you should make them very light o only important lines should be drawn clearly center line dotted line and cause of intersection should be clearly represented in the drawing sheet to get full marks of this solution of the problem this we have drawn now problem number 3 the data is given like this a vertical triangular pyramid of edge of the base 70 mm and axis 80 mm is resting on its base with an edge of the base parallel to and nearer to vp it is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 90 mm length this axis the axis of the cylinder is parallel to vp 25 mm above the base of the pyramid and 10 mm in front of the axis of the pyramid draw the projections with cows of intersection now the points of discussion steps for thinking think about the given solid that is a triangular pyramid is given 70 mm base and 80 mm height resting on its base edges of the base parallel to vp it is given data a horizontal cylinder diameter 40 height 90 it is given data axis of the cylinder 25 mm above the base that is xy line and 10 mm in front of axis of the pyramid take projections from the side view to the other views now let we see animation of this problem curve of intersection when a cylinder penetrates a triangular